Hey, this is Brett with Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. And today I'm excited to show you this brand new 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. This vehicle has a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 motor. It's gonna get you 24 miles per gallon on the highway, 19 city for a combined average of 21 miles per gallon. Now this one is in the highly sought after Sarge Green Clear Coat. Uh, paint code is PGG if you were curious. This one's got a lot of neat options on it. It's got the color match hardtop, the color match fenders, which uh, combined total at $3,100 for options. It also has the LED lighting group, the special 17 inch rims. And then it has a new feature that I haven't seen yet, the front camera for off-road um, maneuvering. It's uh, pretty cool, we'll check that out in just a second. That's the first time I've ever seen this camera on a Wrangler. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or smartphone device, turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the look, styling, options, and color of the vehicle before seeing it in person. This one does come with a special 17-inch polished and painted black aluminum rims, and it has Falcon Wild Peak LT28570 R17 tires on here. Note the little Jeep logo on there. You get the mud terrain tires. The Rubicon comes with the Rubicon lettering on the hood. Those are just stickers if you didn't want them on there. Trail rated badge and Jeep logo are granite crystal and red um, design on there. The color match fenders look really good on here, and this one does have the LED premium lighting group as well. So you get the LED running lights, LED headlamps, and LED um, halo lights on there, as well as the fog lamps. And we'll turn those on in just a little bit so you can see those um, lit up. Red tow hooks, notice you get the granite crystal grill and headlight bezel inserts. Take a look at that camera there. It's basically the same camera that um, is on the back. Notice you do get a little bit of washer fluid uh, to clean that off there as well. And there's a button on the radio to clean that off. So pretty cool stuff there. We might even try it when we're checking it out in a second here. Here's the original window sticker. I'm not gonna go through everything, but some of the highlights of this vehicle. Uh, Sarge green, black interior, color it comes with the leather trim bucket seats which are a $16.95 option the 3.6 liter with the e-torque which is how you get that 21 miles per gallon average eight-speed automatic transmission everything on the left side is standard for the Rubicon package and then your optional equipment starts right there with the Sarge green which is 245 the leather trim bucket seats are $16.95 this one does have the cold weather group, which is $9.95. It gives you the heated seats, remote start, and heated steering wheel. LED lighting group, which is $13.65, and definitely worth it. The 8.4 and premium audio group is $19.95. You get the subwoofer, the Alpine premium sound system, the Uconnect 4C nav, um, GPS navigation, Sirius Guardian for a year, travel link for five years, and traffic plus for five years, as well as emergency assistance call and 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. Safety group, which gives you the parking sensors and blind spot monitoring, is $8.95. And then the advanced safety group, which is less than the blind spot and cross path detection, is $7.95. Um, but that gives you automatic high beam headlamp control, full speed collision warning plus, adaptive cruise control with stop, and adaptive brake assist, or advanced brake assist, I should say. The 8-speed automatic transmission and the 3.6 liter are $1,500 each for a total of $3,000 to get that combo. Proximity keyless entry um, with the enter and go system is $645 and then the color match three-piece hardtop is $2,495 and the color match fenders are $695. So that's actually $3,100 um, to get those two options. LT28570 R17 tires are $195, the 17-inch rims are $995. And then that integrated off-road front camera is $595. So that's a pretty cool option for $595. We'll check that out in just a second. Total MSRP $60,475. If you want to get your summit price in the upper right-hand part of your screen is a link to our website. Click that and check us out there to get all the rebates and incentives on this Jeep. Three-year 36 bumper to bumper, five-year 60 powertrain warranty. 
24 highway, 19 city, and 21 average. Front crash is rated at 4, rollovers at 3. And we'll get to all the interior features in just a second, but just a quick pan of there. You can see it does have that red dash finish. So the color match fenders now come with um, this 3M tape on there, which protects them from rock chips and road rash. A lot of times you see these come in used, and these are all just tore up if they were actually used off-roading. You also get the rock rails on there, which keeps your body safe if you're doing a lot of off-roading stuff. You also have the four-wheel disc brakes on here. Color match hardtop looks really good. It's color matched all the way across there. LED tail lamps, backup parking sensors. See the camera is pretty similar to the front one. And then you get the red tow hook back here as well. Enter and go system, you can always tell if it's got those little buttons on there. Then the back storage area, plenty of room back here. They do put the subwoofer on the side, which I like. They used to put them back here, and you didn't get any storage space, but now they got that storage space back, which is nice. Door hinge bolt holders, roof and windshield bolt holders as well. And then you do get the, um, the jack tools in there as well. So to get this hard top off, you've got three bolts on the side, two on the top for a total of eight bolts, and then you get two quick disconnects back here. You actually have a spot to hold those now. And then you get the color match rails. So when you do have the hard top off, everything is uniform and matches, which is pretty cool. The rear door and glass works exactly the same as the JK's. Back doors, they made lighter and they close a lot nicer. Um, you get this badge back here, the JL badge for overall length and wheelbase for two door, four door, and then water fording there as well. You can see how nice they, nice and smooth those close now. They kind of always were a little, I don't know, hitchy. You get the granite crystal fuel door cover. And just a really good looking Jeep. Also note you get the T50 on the door hinges so you know which Torx wrench to use to get those doors off. Blind spot monitoring, heated mirrors inside. You get the leather trim bucket seats. Both these front seats are heated. You get the red stitching with the Rubicon stitching in the backrest. These now have side airbags right there. And then you do get the driver's seat height adjuster and lumbar. Auto headlamps, tilt and telescopic steering wheel, power locks, power mirrors, and it does have power windows as well. Those controls are in the center console. We'll take a look inside here. And notice when you start it up, you get the Jeep animation and the Rubicon animation up there. And then you get the seven inch LCD display, digital speedometer, you got a compass display, you can do mileage, time, miles to empty, um, all that good stuff. And it's all configurable. So really cool um, instrument cluster there. You do get the heated leather wrap steering wheel. Notice the red stitching on there, cruise controls and adaptive cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, and you do get those audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. So this one does come with the 8.4 4C radio, which gives you AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities, and uh, as well as the factory navigation, there's your Sirius, you just saw the navigation, you got your heated seats, heated steering wheel controls, and then you also can do your backup camera, which is right here. And those grid lines are dynamic, meaning that they're going to turn as you turn that steering wheel. And uh, that center line lines right up with the, with the middle of the vehicle. So if you were to put a hitch on here, you could uh, do that. Now there's the front camera, and that's pretty cool. So if you're going off-road, you can see those tire lines there. kind of gives you an idea of where you're going to be, where your tires are going to be. So very ideal if you're doing extreme off-roading can get a really good idea of where your tires should be and then you can clean the camera lens i <laughs> look at that so it uh what that does is it it sprays water on that camera lens in case you got it dirty off-roading and then it also if you look up in the rear view mirror it will uh turn your rear washer and wiper on so pretty cool stuff there new feature i like that it's hd as well and it's wide lens so you can see all around you uh, which is pretty cool i bet that'd be great for off-roading 
You do get your climate controls here, and then you have all your different apps, including the off-road pages, which we'll check out in just a second. You always get that cool animation at the beginning. You may be lost, but never stuck. And then you get your pitch and roll, um, latitude, longitude, and your altitude there. Accessory gauges on here as well. You got trans temp, oil pressure, battery voltage, oil temp, coolant temp, and I think you can edit those too. Um, steering angle. So you can see as I turn that steering wheel, steering angle changes. You got sway bar disconnect or disconnect um, connected uh, front axle if it's locked or unlocked and rear axle as well. Um, so you can always see where you're at from an off-road standpoint um, on the radio here, which is pretty cool. And then the other quick thing I'll show you is that it does have projection manager. So if you have um, on your cell phone, if you've got Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, you can project your cell phone to the screen. You can play music off your phone through the screen. Um, and you can, if you've got a different navigation system, you can project that through the screen. We actually did a quick demo on Android Auto on an 8.4. If you want to check that out, it's in the upper right-hand part of your screen. Click that and check us out there. Push button start. Down here you have your more tactile climate controls, um, including volume and tune controls and your fan controls, heated seats, heated steering wheel buttons, um, start-stop capabilities, stability control, downhill assist control, parking sensors, you can turn those off and on. These are your window controls, AUGs, USB and USB-C. You got your front and rear axle locks or just the rear. And this is really what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon. Now none of the other Jeep packages are gonna come with this. Um, set up here. You also have the sway bar disconnect which allows your tires a lot more travel space and then um, off-road plus mode. Down here is your 4x4 shifter, your 8-speed automatic transmission and then you get your key fob here with the switchblade style key. It, uh, flips out like that. Heavy duty key fob, remote start and uh, it's really a chunky key fob. You always know which um, key you have in your pocket. Notice the red dash, so it seems like every different trim level comes with a different color dash, like the Saharas are leather, um, the Sports and the Willys are kind of this uh, mineral gray, and then the Rubicons are red. I've seen some of the Rubicons with gray as well, um, just depends on how they're built at the factory. Then you get the quick disconnects for the front roof pieces, they disconnect a lot like the JKs did. You get SOS and assist buttons. Notice the seven slots up there, auto dimming mirror, and then you do get home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. I do like the crushed eggshell finish to those roof pieces. And we'll take a quick look at the back seats and then we'll do one more final walk around with all the lights on for you. Back seats are plenty of room, have plenty of room back here. You do get a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, two more USBs and USB-Cs back here. You do get the latch child safety system for any child car seats, and now that there's more room, it's probably easier to get car seats back here. When I had my Wrangler, it was not the best time trying to get a car seat back there, but anyways, these seats do fold down flat, and they got a nice flipper here, so you're not gonna get stuff stuck behind there. And then when you put them up, the headrests stay down. So that's pretty cool. If you just wanted a headrest down for better visibility, you can just put that down as well. So very nice options on this one. Child safety locks. You know, I think if I was gonna get a Rubicon, I would probably trim it out a lot like this with the color match top, the uh, leather seats, of course the 8.4 with the Alpine sound system, and the color. I'd, Sarge Green, probably one of the best colors they've come out with on the Wranglers uh, since Sting Gray. Love those LED headlamps, I'd get that on mine. And uh, that front camera is definitely really a cool feature. I'd probably opt for that as well. Thanks for checking out the video. And um, if you want to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to our website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left. A link to more Jeep Wrangler videos like this one on your right. If you have not been to our website, on the bottom, a link to this vehicle on our website. Click those, check us out, and we really look forward to helping with this beautiful 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon in Sarge Green Clear Coat. Thanks again for checking out the video.